Sorry about the mess. Why don't you pound snow, doll? Gotta keep a low profile. They'll be watching the four of us. You didn't want P.I. You want some pastry to pin it on. I killed him! Ah! Hey, what the fuck is that? What's that? Who are they? What are they doing? That would be Morris dancing. And even more specifically, sudzing. Documenting her journey? Yes, I am, Hurricane. And like most of these tours, it begins in Carnage's band van. But thanks to elbows, we have Magic 7 Layer Bars. The Suds is held in Connecticut and is hosted by the infamous Bowery Boys. Overall, it took us about three hours to get there, including the pit stop at this deli. However, Hurricane and I wanted a bit more Southeast Asian taste. Eventually, we got there at about 11.30 at night. And when I say there, I mean a spacious estate owned by a very kindly old gentleman who apparently has even left it in his will that whoever buys the estate when he is gone must continue to host us every year at the Suds. It is kindly gentlemen like this who continue to perpetuate the wonders of Morris. After eating our breakfast and checking with the schedule, we then load ourselves onto our respective buses. But not without some drama. Yeah. Jeff, are you the newest member of Newtown at the moment? I believe so. You might be responsible for the sticks. You may have noticed Newtown has gone through a bit of a kit change. I won't say much, but I will say this. Canadian women are a force to be reckoned with. We were eventually dropped off at our first stand, a sort of nursery store, which is rather fitting actually because Morris dancing is a dance traditionally done to bring in good luck, good harvest, and fertility. We eventually went to a different stand, where coincidentally we found a new teammate. He didn't dance much though. After the last stand, we went to eat our lunch, where we ate our fill, told jokes, sang, danced rabbits of Australia, and generally entertained the locals. Something that truly never ceases to amaze me is the sheer longevity of these tours. Many of them have been going on since the 70s and some of the people in the restaurant had been showing up ever since they began. Unfortunately, here is the last amount of footage I have of the tour. I'm sorry that I was not able to show you any of the show dances, or the infamous feast, or any of the other shenanigans we get up to for that matter. My camera was accidentally dropped by a uh, certain someone that shall not be mentioned here. Cough, cough. Overall, it was a great tour, and I can't wait to go back next year.